just Chanel here. The Daily Vlog. I'm actually on the live right now, so welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Chanel and I create lifestyle videos as a full-time flight attendant, entrepreneur, and content creator. I'm also a nanny. But anyway, today we are making some chicken pot pie in the vlog. I just got back from the grocery store. I'm just going to give y'all a quick grocery haul. I went to Sprouts. I really love Sprouts. Uh, but these are mixed vegetable chips. Bomb. I actually want to make them myself. I just obviously don't have time for that because if you've been watching the vlogs, you know your girl got so many jobs. I ain't even slept in days. <laughs> um, okay, multi-grain sweet potato tortilla chips, which I got these because I was like, oh, this is a good snack with some salsa and totally forgot to get salsa, but it's cool. I also found some Skinny Pop cinnamon and sugar mini rice cakes, which I really was trying to look for regular rice cakes. Saw those and said, it's giving bougie, it's giving elevated. Um, of course we have pie crust. This is frozen pie crust already prepared. Uh, I got a lot of snacks cause I never have snacks and that kind of bothers me sometimes, especially when I'm like sleepy, don't feel like cooking, but don't feel like ordering and like not all the way hungry, you feel me? So I was like, yeah, I need to get some snacks. Got these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. Um, one more snack, which I'm excited about. You guys will hear more about this later, but this is an epic bar. So I'm trying this for the first time. Um, I'm, I'll probably try it, I don't know, maybe on my, maybe on my flight later on in the vlog, but it's um, a 100% grass fed beef stick basically. And it's apple and beef flavored. It has eight grams of protein. Um, I heard they're really good. So we're gonna try it out. Um, great way to just, you know, get a quick source of protein. And then everything else I think is for the, no, actually it's not. Got some coconut water because I just haven't had any in a long time. And I also found this tin bean soup mix. I just love the color. So I was like, I'm gonna do something with this this week. It started, I mean, I wanted to start getting cool outside. It's not getting cool yet, but it was just giving like comfort meal. And I said, yeah, I'm gonna get this for a future meal. And I also got some chimichurri steak. Um, my sprouts, they like marinate a lot of their meats and so they're already prepared, sort of, kinda. Um, so I was like, I've been wanting to try this chimichurri steak, so I went ahead and got that. And then, now moving on, for the chicken pot pie. Here are the ingredients, some chicken broth, heavy cream. I am obviously tired, so I got already prepared chicken, let me show the show the live. This is literally like rotisserie chicken, um, but already cut up and everything shredded. Oh, I got some beets, but this is for juicing. And then you need parsley for your chicken pot pie. Y'all know, it's lemons. Every time I go to the grocery store, I buy lemons, okay? Because who's gonna drink tea, especially that good old love that liver without lemons? Oh yeah, if you didn't know, I own a tea shop. I mean. Come on. And this right here is the best tea you'll ever have in your life. It's called Love Thy Liver. It's a daily detox tea. Yes, you can leave the house. You can go to work. It's not going to give you the bubble guts, but it will drastically improve your digestive system. It aids weight loss. It gives you glowy skin. Okay. It alleviates bloating. It's bomb. It's, it, it's peachy, ginger, lemon flavors. It's just, whew, I mean, look look at the quality. And I like to add fresh lemon juice, so it enhances the flavor. Don't need any honey or anything. And then I got some good old organic mixed frozen vegetables, corn, green beans, peas, and carrots, celery for celery juice and for my chicken pot pie, and then an onion. So chicken pot pie, oh wait, wait, we're mixing something. And garlic, can't forget the garlic. Okay, it's giving it quality. But my life is life in, so I haven't actually put the laundry up. And what I what I realized with um, using Sudshare is like, if I'm not ready to put it up, just don't even open the bags. But 
to make it an exception because since I'm cooking, I really need a kitchen towel. If you know, you know, I'm a no paper towel household. I have a plethora of kitchen towels. You can get these from anywhere. I plan to sell them really soon though. So not this particular one, I bought this. But I'm um, just trying to figure out a cute design. I have a few ideas for savory, but kitchen towels y'all, buy them. Well, actually wait till I release mine. <laughs> but uh, they're just so easy to dry your hands while you're cooking and then when you're done cooking, just throw it in the washing machine, you know, or like in your hamper. You just have several and it saves so much money on paper towels and they're like a lot, they pick, obviously wipe up a lot more, dry your hands better. I mean, look at that, look at it. It's, it's nice and thick. This is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so this is the same quality that I would want mine. I'm gonna add in some chicken, bro, some more. I added a little bit because I have my onions are burning, but go ahead and add it in. This will help our veggies cook. Get nice and soft. I'd say two cups. Yep, I'm gonna go with two cups. And then wait till it boils. We're also <laughs> gonna add some white wine. I'm not drinking and I've been just using this wine for like every meal. So yeah, we're gonna add white wine because why not? too soft when I was first trying to handle it. Actually, let me put some flour on my hands. But also, I decided I'm gonna make zucchini banana nut bread. The zucchini is just like a hidden vegetable in it. You don't actually taste it. So I took out all the stuff for that too. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get the chicken pot pie in the oven first. So just a little bit of flour so I can handle this pie crust. What I've decided is to not have a bottom crust, just a top crust, and so it'll kind of just fall apart at the bottom. Uh, and that's just what we're gonna do. So let's get in the pan and then form the top crust, because I have another one of these, so I'll be able to just add them together and then lay it on top. banana bread I don't know I just I'm just in like a really relaxed I still have not slept what's wrong with me I have not slept y'all I don't understand like but then I figure it's too late to sleep now so when I get to the hotel tonight I'm just gonna be completely knocked out um I haven't slept I can't believe it however tomorrow I really don't have anything to do I'll have leftover chicken pot pie and banana bread I'll probably take a muffin with me for it to work in the morning Oof. Yes, or work tonight for the morning. So that way I can have muffin. The um, hotel has free coffee and I can have my little deliver. Ooh, I wonder if they have decaf coffee. Anyway, when I get home tomorrow, I have to do nothing. Cause I'll have food 
and content. I can literally sit in the bed and edit all day if I want to. So, and sleep. So that's good. I don't know. I just feel super relaxed, but not like lazy bed vibes. I just, I, I am enjoying the silence and just cooking some food. So I'm going, um, I'm following the recipe in my holiday cookbook. If you got this around the holiday season last year, shout out to you. Um, maybe I'll leave the link down below. Yeah, why not? I'll leave the, um, I'm pretty sure there's a way I can put like the link to the banana bread recipe. But anyway, I'll put the link in the description box. And you already know, I'm also using a little bit of a savory. So we're gonna use the breakfast blend in our banana bread. Um, this will just give it a nice spice. It's sugar-based, it's coconut sugar-based, but it has a lot of different spices and vanilla and everything else in it. So it's perfect for baking, whether you're making waffles, pancakes, muffins, oatmeal, peach cobbler, or banana bread. <laughs> my banana y'all know i'm doing it making a reel too and i have my zucchini here which i am just gonna shred the camera is about to die so i need to put it on the charger all right the chicken pot pie is ready now let's give it a try i noticed that it's not as like creamy as most chicken pot pies because i didn't use you know all those soups and heavy cream kind of got the dairy sis okay be breaking my face up mmm you can taste so much chardonnay <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's a lot of flavor. Mm. It's like mm. It's like fresh but hearty flavors. Like it tastes exactly how a chicken pot pie should taste. Yeah. I'm getting another slice. <laughs> Sorry, short. I did my thing, y'all. I really did my thing. Chicken pot pie, zucchini, banana nut muffins. And y'all look at the caraway uh, muffin tin. Like it's still hot, but look how easy it is to just pop these right out. Like completely nonstick. That's, what? so I just grabbed this one right on out of there. Um, literally all just nonstick, like no hassle. The link is down below. <laughs> this is uh, my second time using the muffin tin. This is a new product that they had. That one's kind of big. But um, it's it's definitely not sticking. I just don't want to pierce it with my nail because I'm probably going to share these and I'm touching all over them. I mean, my hand's clean, but anyway. Second time using the caraway muffin pan. Mm, okay. No, no, I don't really bake. I made cornbread muffins. Bussin'. I knew it was not stick, but I only made six of them, so it wasn't like really pleasurable because the whole tin wasn't full, you know, the whole pan. Hold on. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. I am napped i actually went to sleep for like an hour and i'm about to head to work running a little behind y'all know i'm working on my time in this so let's get out of here here <laughs> <laughs> i'm seeing your mama status again tonight this is, this is the fourth night in a row it's my favorite plane one of them this is the Airbus 321 i like it because we all have our own jumpsuits my my favorite aircrafts always are based on if we have like what the jumpsuit situation is like this carpet look real clean like look kind of new and i like that we have <laughs> neat little seats back here but y'all literally saw this a few days ago i was on the same plane the galley is small so <laughs> that's you know a bit unfortunate but it's going on we'll make it work made it to the telly this is my least favorite part <laughs> at some hotels like when they give you a room that's all the way at the end because 
my pickup is at 4.50 in the morning and it's after midnight and it's like, bruh, why do I have to go on this journey in the morning? I like to leave my room like 45 seconds before pickup uh, and just get down there and get right in the van. But when the room is this far, you need three minutes, okay? Now the good thing about this hotel though is they give you like a little food voucher thing. So in the morning, you can, um, most hotels will like give us coffee for free, but this one in particular, they have like snacks, candy. Um, it's kind of like a little snack shop. Oh, I wonder if I got a sweet. Let's see. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> It's normal. It smells amazing. Alright, a little telly tour. I try not to slam the doors because I know that, you know, crew always is here. And obviously people are asleep too, but there's a wedding going on downstairs and they are lit. Um, so yeah, here's the restroom area. Vanity shower and whatnot do, 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 do. it smells so good in here y'all it smells like so clean and fresh i'm gonna close this because i won't be you know using that area um you have a little coffee station there's a lot of flight attendants that use like the coffee machines i can't get into it like people always ask me like why don't you just make your tea in your room why don't you just do the hot water like you know just fill this with hot water i don't know there's something about i don't know it just doesn't sit right with me um <laughs> so i like to get it from like an actual coffee shop but yeah this is where i put my bag random toilet paper okay and then we have the room do, 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 do. nice king size bed i one thing i noticed with these overnight trips the majority of the times like these really short trips we get king size beds i don't know if they do that just for like our comfort since we're not here long but i love it i appreciate the thoughtfulness thoughtfulness if that is something that they arrange because you can just stretch out i mean you only got about three four hours so you know you need to be able to get the best rest possible. Good morning, y'all. I am home from work this morning. Um, today is actually 9-11, and we realized that when we were on the flight this morning, it was so turbulent, and um, we actually did not do the service because it was turbulent the entire time to Atlanta. So it was a nice time to kind of like sit and reflect. I think that going forward on 9-11, there should be something implemented where like flight attendants don't do the service. Like it's just a moment of silence during the flight. I guess depending on the length of the flight because if it's a whole eight hours, that's a bit much. But uh, yeah, so I didn't really vlog much this morning. I actually was running a tiny bit late for pickup too because of how long the hallway was. So I was like a couple minutes late, but the van driver was also late. So that actually kind of worked out. I just um, cleared my sink of all of my dishes and put them here in the dishwasher. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And then those muffins that I made yesterday, perfect breakfast. So I'm going to have muffins with tea. I didn't even have tea this morning. I could not, um, for one, I couldn't really find a like coffee shop or anything in the airport that I was at. And also uh, there was no lemons. <laughs> So since there weren't any lemons, I was just like, yeah, I don't want to drink my tea without the lemon. So I'm going to go ahead and make my Love Thy Liver Detox Tea. I'm also going to juice today um, and kind of just work a little bit, but also chill out today. I have to work again this evening. And then, uh, oh yeah, package a few orders, get some detox orders out um, that came in over the weekends. Oh, and then we have a deal going on right now. Uh, you get a free gold infuser ball, which I don't know if I showed y'all in the vlog, but let me let me give y'all the whole rundown because I went live yesterday and showed the people the fall lifestyle box. Okay, and it's it's giving. 
All right, so I know y'all have already seen the box, but we actually went ahead and put all the goods in the box. Of course, um, everything except the sweatshirt. I'm actually the hoodie I'm wearing this today because I mean, why not? Girl, I'm about to be all up in this quality life apparel, okay, for the rest of the season. Um, but yeah, this is the quality um, life spice hoodie. And it's just, y'all, it's 100% organic cotton. There is a beautiful cotton lining for your hair right in the hood so your hair isn't damaged. There is a fleece um, lining right here on the inside so it keeps you nice and warm for the season. Uh, there's sweatpants and sweatshirts or hoodies, hooded sweatshirts available. Um, and this is just our first color for the fall season. So we have a whole fall collection coming out that I'm really excited about. Um, this is only available in the fall lifestyle box, which is the box right here. Um, this color, but you can also get our signature green color, the quality green color, which I'm calling the color Jade. <laughs> uh, you can buy that on the site right now. The set is available to purchase and it actually matches perfect with your t-shirt, the little teacup shirt that you guys have been seeing in all the vlogs. So anyway, here's our fall lifestyle box. Of course, you'll get a brand book with the box that's going to have a bunch of recipes in it. Um, it's kind of like a mini catalog. It's just really nice. It gives rich auntie vibes for your tea time. We have four different teas that come with our fall lifestyle box so caramel pumpkin spice y'all can see real caramel pieces in there peach turmeric chai this is a bestseller there's real peach pieces in there as well so it naturally sweetens if you're a chai lover this is definitely for you and then that turmeric is going to um, fight inflammation and it's just a really great superfood i love to juice turmeric um you know it just helps with like bloating inflammation and um it is full of antioxidants so it's going to fight against a lot of different diseases and illnesses we also have sunrise harvest this is actually my favorite tea of the season because it's low in caffeine a lot of fall teas are high in caffeine because they're black teas but this is a white tea that i crafted and it's a sweet spice so it's a lot of fall fruit fruits like cranberries and apples um, but then it gives that warm spice with cinnamon nutmeg uh, there's also a little bit of orange in there and then we have a new blend this is cozy cardigan it is a warm apple pie blend um, real apple pieces in there lots of warm spice it's naturally sweetened great for the kids but it is high in caffeine so <laughs> they may be jumping off the walls but it tastes really great um, if you actually steep it in milk that's something else I mentioned in the live yesterday you can steep all of these blends in milk um, which makes you like a nice latte or you can steep them in coffee if you're a coffee drinker and trying to get off a of coffee i recommend you steep your tea in decaf coffee and the perfect way to do that is with our tea accessories kit right here that comes with your fall lifestyle box so right now it's a during this vlog only type of situation we have our free infuser ball with every single order no minimum required on the site you can purchase anything and get a free infuser ball but of course you want to grab this fall lifestyle box there's less than 20 left and i mean come on it's it's giving okay it's literally setting you up for the entire fall season apparel everything for your tea time and then we'll get into some of the other items but the fall infuser ball the the gold infuser ball is perfect because you can put your tea in there and then you can actually just place this inside of your mug with decaf coffee and it's going to give you all the benefits of tea with the flavor of coffee that you like but a sustainable source of energy so you're not going to get that crash and the jitters that coffee gives this um box also comes with a bamboo tea scoop that is the perfect measurement for all of your loose leaf teas. You get the golden teaspoons that are so appropriate, so fall, they're so pretty. And then I also decided to include a little garnish kit in there. So you'll see some dried orange and cinnamon stick. I wanted you all to be able to open the box and you know, if you like filming content or you wanna have your cup of tea on the first day of fall, you know, you should have a little garnish for your pick Instagram, real, whatever it is. So I decided to go ahead and um, throw that in the box. We also have our bourbon brulee candle and upgrade update on this. It is now a three wick candle. So originally we had them as one wick is what I've been showing you guys, but I'm actually gonna put this one in my kitchen because as I've been burning them around my home, I realized like, girl, 
this smells way too good okay and it needs to last longer than just one month it needs to last the entire three months of fall so i said i'm gonna do the three wick so we decided to um do the three wick for all the boxes so that's what you'll receive is your three a three wick bourbon um creme brulee candle it's same design and everything glass with this pretty uh pattern the tassel it's all exactly the same it's just three wicks so it's a lot bigger and then lastly we have our pumpkin mug which is so fall appropriate um, i love using the pumpkin mug with my gold infuser ball and it's just you know it just gives fall vibes so this you know you have your mug and you can like do the whole in front of the trees on your balcony before it gets too cold outside you're having your morning cup of tea it's a vibe it's definitely giving i deserve a quality life because you do so grab your fall lifestyle box today uh i'll be wearing my hoodie today so y'all can see what it looks like on i'm wearing a size small today but i actually prefer a medium for more like an oversized look uh, you guys will see it later though let's go ahead and make some breakfast and start working like maybe three or four days off Ooh, that's hot. Okay. got some water because baby i am dehydrated okay i have not been um really drinking water like i should it's so hard when you're traveling yeah. it's a little difficult because um especially when you're working like these short flights because really i need to be drinking i'm just looking around to make sure i'm not leaving nothing oh wait i need to grab my denim jacket i'm gonna catch y'all in the car all right i am Getting off the exit, actually, I haven't taken a bite of my food yet. It was so hot. I really love my food extra, extra hot, but I be racing to work, y'all, because I feel like once I'm in the car, I'm all, oh yeah, I'm almost there, you know? Like, it's just a hop, skip, jump away. So, I'm trying to get there, and yeah, but I have a lot to do before I actually get um, on the plane. I need to make a few phone calls. I kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown of the rest of the vlog because I don't want to get too chatty tomorrow. Mm, um, mm, 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 so good. <laughs> it's got so much flavor. Okay. I will say next time I'm going to use just one crust. I had combined those two crusts for this and so the crust on top is really thick. If I just would have put one of the crusts on bottom, on the bottom, that would have worked. Or you can use both crusts and use like a cream and chicken soup or something, something really creamy. But all right, so quick rundown. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at the moon. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I'm sorry, it just really like. Somebody had mentioned it was a full moon and it's 9 11. This is crazy. Look at this moon, y'all. Look at this moon. Like the camera is not even doing it justice. Oh my goodness, God is so good. I gotta write this down. Like, do y'all see this? Oh my goodness, look at my phone. Y'all, about, I wanna say like six buses just passed. Like everybody is off to the workplace, huh? Okay, I see y'all making all the points. <laughs> oh no. Do y'all hear this great music? It's cool. Oh
somebody left a coffee bag in the major. Sure. I don't know. I mean, I just, this plane just came in, but I'm not really supposed to do that. It is so cold here. Where even are we? It is freezing. Y'all, I don't, I thought that this was a completely different hotel. I've been telling the crew like, yes, this place is so nice. Because I thought I flew here a few, like two weeks ago. But yeah, this is not the same place. I've laid over here, but like, I don't think this is one of the ones I like. And I'm concerned because um, yeah, I just thought I would have swapped into something else. What are you gonna, what are you gonna see? Oh, you know what? I do remember this place. I came here because I actually, this is the room. I vlogged, I remember. Okay, I had the key the wrong way. There we go. Okay, yeah, I remember this place because I vlogged. I remember putting on my red lipstick <laughs> in the um, in the mirror. Like, this is a vlog that Jazz edited. Love it. I love these types of hotels because if you're on a long layover, like the crew can come to your room and you guys can have pizza and wine and just kind of kick it. Um, but obviously I'm only here for a few hours. Pickup is at 4.35, which is not too bad. And actually I think this is maybe the first time I've gotten a king size bed at this hotel. Um, another thing that I love is how the bathroom, like where you take a shower, use the restroom, is separate from the vanity. So it just makes getting ready a lot easier. I'm gonna put my suitcase up here this is prime example of why i never really say where i'm at a lot of people wonder that like why don't you ever tell us what city you're in i do that because we frequent the same um, hotels and so if i'm telling you what city i'm in and then you see the same hotel in a vlog twice you can try to put your finger on the hotel and the whole point is to you know like keep where we're staying private like you know it's a bit of a security risk so i don't ever really say where i'm i never say the hotels but i also really don't tell y'all what cities i'm in because people are crazy and half the time i don't know what city i'm in <laughs> already had my tea in the um, van because the hotel set out hot water but y'all this airport has like a self-serve coffee little shop so I'm gonna get more because okay second cup of tea and it's not even 5 a.m. look at here I make a mess I do all the you know just doing on the plane from the um, hotel but I'm going ahead and posting on my nanny page this morning um, I like to post really early especially on Mondays because y'all can see it's 5 34 everybody's like you know ready for the week they're getting up and getting the day started with their morning routines starting off the week right setting the tone so um yeah gonna post on here and then a few more posts on my personal Instagram for tea I made uh this this little graphic so I'm gonna post this and then I don't know what else I'll figure it out let's go ahead and start boarding too oh, look what a passenger gave us so sweet okay so obviously the candy like if you ever wonder what flight attendants love candy is cool you know if you're on a if you just had a really long day it's great but the Starbucks the Starbucks gift cards baby that's for and she gave us two of them like what 
<laughs> this is amazing. Other gifts that Flight Attendants love, little mini lotions, um, anything for like our hair, like really good mini size products. So if you ever go into Sephora or something and you wanna like put together a little flight attendant kit, grab some like of the little mini products or sample products out of Sephora and create like flight attendant gift baggies because yeah, uh, we love this and we will give you all the free drinks. This is a really good brand from Japan. Oh my goodness, I was telling sis that I yeah. own a tea shop and she said, what is it called? Rose, rosen? Uh, green tea with roasted Oh, it's, it has roasted rice. Oh, it's roasted rice green tea with matcha yeah. in a bag. Like, So we're gonna try this out. Maybe today, because I have a photo shoot. I don't think I mentioned to y'all what I have to do today. We'll talk about it. Hey, we are, have a good day. We're out of here. Um, they just came to cater. I think that this is probably going out for an international oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta get to the photo shoot. We're actually in econ for so it's gonna be a little bit of a walk and hopefully the bus comes soon, but we'll see. Oh, I forgot I had these cookies. Y'all remember when I said I was stuck that day? This is where I was stuck. I was stuck outside the door. Yeah, right here. Literally like at a gate, but on the outside and it was pouring rain. shoot um, I'm gonna be about 10 minutes late we were delayed like 25 minutes the bags the um, the baggage people like didn't know how to load the bags or something weird this morning but anyway I'm just switching out like everything in my bag um, the photo shoot is a beauty shoot so that's super easy I'm just gonna throw on like some biker shorts and a bandeau top um, or like a tank top because Essentially, they're just getting like upper here. I brought my flat iron with me just to like do a little something to my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it sh completely straight or if I'm going to um, what's it called? like kind of flip it just a little bit. But I want to make sure that whatever I have in this bag. Oh, is that an ant? That was definitely an ant. Where did that thing come from? Have another base bag <laughs> right here i mean literally i own everything this is base this is my work tote from base this thing in my work purse is base my toiletry bag that y'all saw in my suitcase in the last walk base this this fanny pack base and this is not even half of the things like hello sponsorship hello send me the recycle collection <laughs> okay let me just throw all this and i'm gonna wear this um where this what you would call it oh and i want my muffins got another muffin i ate one and my halos cuties got him Rashad, oh 
Rochelle, you got the light on yours too. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Right. Let's see. It's the shirt branding for me. Rashad got the shirt on. Her. I'm here for this. Kind of shoot i'm off to get the kids we are done with the shoots it went very well that was actually my first time doing a beauty shoot and i like it it gives like very soft and sensual sensual and feminine and you know i love it so um i'm actually gonna shoot again tomorrow because <laughs> i was like oh i like this i'm actually i'm going to assist with a shoot just some behind the scenes like content creator stuff but then also shoot some of the apparel which i'm excited about um what else i'm about to stop at target really quick my one of my friends told me about some body scrub that she is loving right now from target and it's super cheap and she was like it's like so good so i'm gonna grab that i've got to grab the kids in about 20 30 minutes so this is perfect because i'm close by um and then i have a meeting i have a content a brand meeting in about 45 minutes so i have to let the kids know y'all have to be a little quiet in the corner okay it was supposed to be um right when i was leaving the shoot but they rescheduled like last minute i was like mm, okay so they just gonna have to be okay with me having the kids because y'all should have planned this like, they didn't reschedule this meeting two three times so like do y'all want to work or no <laughs> playing target nah, y'all know how target is you get stuck in here so this is the reason why i don't go in stores because you end up going in for a ten dollar item and you spend four hundred and eighty six dollars <laughs> but no i'm serious i'm gonna stay focused because i just been super disciplined lately like with work and just everything so we're gonna go in here and grab the grab the goods and come right on out grabbing a shower cap now look my friends always make fun of me no one uses a shower cap, I guess, nowadays anymore. But I still do, y'all. I be getting my hair wet. If I don't got a shower cap, what am I supposed to do? And I know it look crazy when you take in the shower with a shower cap on, but I'm not trying to be cute in the shower. I'm trying to get clean. So anyway, Cantu has a shower cap. This is the first time I've ever seen this one. But it has a terry cloth lining, which I'm like, oh, that's nice. Um, it'd be kind of cool if it had a silk lining. But it's cool, whatever. Also, last time I got my hair done a few weeks ago, um, my hairstylist mentioned that my hair is breaking off really bad, which I already knew. And I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've been stressed or I ain't drinking enough water. I don't know what it is. But either way, she was like, you know, maybe you just need to get a new flat iron. I've had my flat iron for about a year. She asked me what type I use. So a lot of y'all wonder about my hair products. I use Remington flat iron. I got it from Amazon. But it's basically, it looks just like this one, except it's white and black black and white but i figure oh this has argan oil keratin i don't i don't understand i don't need nothing that's infused either way i'm gonna get a new flat iron so i'll let you guys know which one i order it'll be in the vlog oh maybe i should get this one i'm gonna do some research though i'm probably gonna stick with the remington brand though because you know it has not done me any wrong now what i realize about this target is it's not like the fancy one that has the big like middle personal care beauty section so i don't actually know where the body scrub is um <sighs> bummer let's see, i don't know maybe where would body scrub in this area isn't this like soap but this look it's just like fancy soaps i'll let y'all know if i find them okay I did find a few more items. I needed socks, so that's a necessity. I found this like terry cloth dress pajama situation, like a right out the shower vibe um, for only $5. And then this swim cover up skirt thing, $5. And then I've been wanting to get some um, like tan colored biker shorts to wear with like hoodies and stuff for the fall. Um, so I mean, I'm definitely gonna do a little nice like shower, take my makeup off, get unready with me situation with this terry cloth robe slash dress because hello, like it's it's giving self care. It's giving I deserve. I just worked my behind off for days and technically I'm still working, but you know let's just do the thing. We're going to check out.
apples for the kids because they don't like red apples. These are Fiji apples. They prefer green apples, so I don't want them to go bad. So we're just gonna make apple juice because we drink apple juice. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do this real quick, and then we're headed to where we're going. Why do kids love asking how old you are? Like, and then they, their guesses are always like all off. They're guessing their tennis coach's age. They just guess that she's 13. Like, and then another kid said she's 53. The girl can't be any more than like 25, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. And they're so little, they're so cute. Let's see, these are the, uh, this is the girls playing. They're working on backhand. Uh, next step. It's definitely still feeling like uh, hell in Atlanta. <laughs> so y'all know I got my tumbler. Let's see. With the water, it's sweet, okay? One thing I'll say, I really love the outdoor activities with the kids because it kind of like, you can get one with nature, you know? And it gives you an opportunity to exercise as well. And I stay super hydrated since I'm outside. And I'm not tempted to like pull out my computer and stuff. Uh, I don't know where my kid is, child. take off this makeup it's so pretty but like it's so pretty it's so pretty it's so pretty to look at but i'm starting to feel it you know what i mean i got a little lipstick on my chin it's just so beautiful but i'm like okay well i got some photos at the shoot i got a photo for instagram to post later this week i got a video vlog it's just so pretty but like what am i gonna do with this when i wake up tomorrow i'm gonna be looking at myself i can't go outside like this again Everybody's gonna be like, why she got the same face? <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and take it off. Um, I'm gonna put my bonnet on just because I like how this bonnet like lays my edges kind of sort of. So I'm gonna use this first before I put the shower cap that I bought on. And I'm gonna show you, share some skincare products with y'all as we do the thing. All right, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna just kind of like cleanse um, in the sink first. And then when I hop in the shower, I'll finish the get under ready with me. I'm so excited to wear this terry cloth dress situation a bit. <laughs> um, oh, and I can't wait for to see the photos. Okay, so I just, it looks so good. It looks so good. You know what I love the most about this makeup? The foundation color is actually my color. A lot of the times what happens is people use a foundation that is too dark on me um, because I look like I have red undertones, but really I have yellow undertones. It's giving, like it is my skin. <laughs> okay, let's take people like do that. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. What in the world? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, are my lashes coming out? Okay, I should put some oil or something. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm using the Drunk Elephant Bestie Cleanser. This is a makeup melter, y'all. It's going to get everything off your face. Oh my gosh. I think usually I wear my makeup so long that it doesn't like, hurt. Like, it, my lashes will just come off. 
But, or maybe I'll be putting them on good enough. I don't know. Oh, wow. That is like on there, boo. I mean, the brows. Like, I should keep the brow. I already put soap on it, but I can keep a little bit of it. Because I actually surprised have another shoot tomorrow. <laughs> I'm more assisting on that shoot. But um, I'm going to go add a little bit of content for the apparel. Oh, I should definitely keep the brow. The brow will do well for tomorrow too. I need the brow. I'm gonna soften it up a bit, but keep the shape. Oh, the camera's gonna die. It's horrible. They're facial rounds. They're cotton, but they're washable, reusable. Like what? So I'm just gonna get off. Like, do y'all see my face? Do y'all see that? How well the cleanser took my makeup off? Like, I didn't even wipe, like, scrub or anything that on. I mean, it's so material. <laughs> I don't know. It's um, a little big. I got it in a size small, but it's definitely oversized. But anyway, super comfortable. And it literally feels like a super warm towel so go get yours on clearance at target thank y'all so much for watching i'm actually gonna go ahead and close the vlog out because i want to get to editing okay daily vlogs still coming i don't know if they're going to be every single day or every other day but definitely content i'm i'm on a content roll i'm vlogging for the rest of the week uh oh by the way i did get my makeup all the way a little bit uh i think this brow is kind of still oh yeah you could feel a little bit of brow gel right there <laughs> this one we just gonna keep it We'll brush them up a little bit for tomorrow's shoot. This, this, I need to go get in every color. Like, this is bomb. Love it. Oh, it's so cute. Like, they should have just did it to where it kind of cinches and do, and do, and do, and do. Oh, by the way, <laughs> busted my knee. Can y'all see? Is it focusing? No. Busted my knee. Okay. So, child. <laughs> Miss Chanel is out. Bye.